as I start along the trail, here's another angle of the geese and the heron and everything. All right, let's uh, zoom out to one times view again. Wait for it to solidify and take the picture. There you go. Oh, that's neat. It's a beautiful river. This park is quite interesting. It's some of the growth is fenced off, almost like it's a community garden, like it is in in Deep River. Huh. Look, there's some kind of trail over here. Let's just see what's beyond these trees. And I'll go out into there. Oh, that's neat. Looking out at the river. So I'll, I'll just call this Ridu River Park, for lack of a better term. Oh, it looks like it might be beginning to... It's not beginning to rain. Okay, good. I was worried for a moment that it might be. But look at the beautiful view through the trees. Huh. I don't think it... Too close. Don't want to trip over a root and have my phone fall in the water. But there you go. There's another view. So, if you want to try to get some views of the river... Uh, there we go. And the dam down there, so... And, of course, the far shore, so... That's good. That's good. And, of course, these are the woods inside, along the shoreline. Managed not to fall into the river, thankfully. Look, here's the Riverside Trail. <coughs> so we'll see where we end up. <coughs> Oh, well, I guess that... Oh, no, wait, wait a minute. Wow, look at that. Logs. I mean, it's a big tree that fell. It's very close to the edge of the river, but I am managing to find my way along. So you have, like, 17 minutes worth of footage room. This might as well be the footage I get today. Two parks and one weekend, so... Agronon Park in Montreal and... Uh, Ridu River Park here in Ottawa. And now I'm going through all the undergrowth, of course. It rained last night, so you have dew. Huh. It's quite beautiful, though. Oh, red-winged blackbird. I don't know if you got him. Well, yeah, look at this. There it is. Huh. That's so neat. You can see the short grass, and there's a slight trail through the short grass. And this is a kind of short grass trail that I wish there had been a couple, about three weeks ago. But I'm just ending up deeper. I'm ending up further away from the park. I'm ending deep. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Maybe not. Oh, where am I now? I'm close to the park, you can see it from there. I'm into near the river again. Huh. Get it. Ooh, the big rock under the tree. Ah. <laughs> this is like yesterday. Going along a river path. Oh, look. Look at that. Well, let me zoom in a bit. Building beyond the river. There. There's a good picture. Wait for it to focus and give me the picture taking button. There you go. I think we're finally on a path that's going to take us towards the grass now. Now, see? See the green burrs? So let's see if we can find a way to get through them. Ugh. They're not coming off onto me because they're still attached to their plant. It's only when they turn brown that they become detached. And that's how they transport themselves and uh, find a way to proliferate, I guess, where it is. Look at this. You know what this reminds me of? The undergrowth. The huge plants 
on the Genesis planet in Star Trek IV, which coincidentally was 20 years ago. Now, if I go that way, I'm going to get to the grass. And you can see above me the beautiful purple flowers that are actually taller than the person. I've This is the first park I've ever been to where I've encountered such things. Like, look at that. Look at that. There's a tiny path through there, but I've uh, had quite enough of the undergrowth, so I am going to get back to the main part of the park now so that I can, you know, eventually see my way back to my car. But that was a great uh, nature excursion. It's about 10.14, and I'm holding the phone up so I don't drop it among these plants. If I drop it, I'm never going to see it. Oh, look! They produce a, a flower in the burrs. Yeah, neat. And you can see the ones from last year, the dead ones. That's so neat, the flowers. Yeah. And here we go. So there was an opening. That was an authorized opening into the park. See? See? Into the nature. And now we proceed until we get to the trail. There's the parking lot with my car, so I just have to go this way for a while. Huh. Of course, here you see the willow trees and the traffic. So I'll go along the trail for a bit. Oh, okay, my feet got kind of wet, but you know what the irony is? They got more wet going through the short grass than they did through the long grass. That's quite a neat view ahead of us, see? And of course there's the school across the road with the big sports fields and everything. Well, we used seven of the 17 minutes worth of footage, but we're... Here we go. Here's another river view where I should be able to get a view of the bridge that crosses the road. And that... That perhaps Ottawa Hospital Tower again? I don't know what it is, but... You can see it from here. And don't worry, I'll crop this to be the thumbnail. And if you go this way, there's the hospital building. So that's a good uh, picture of, nice scenic picture of the Ridu River Park, for want of a better term, because no other view is quite so uh, expansive, emblematic. So unless I come across a better picture, that will be the thumbnail. Yeah, we'll get a better view of the sports field across the road now. Well, you know what I said, unless I found a better picture, I think that'll be the better picture once it's cropped, because it shows the bridge and the big, tall building there. That tall building looks a lot like Arthur Schmann Tower of Brock University, and a bit like one of the Montreal buildings with the concrete girders on either side. Of course, there's always the picture of the river with the uh, flowers in the foreground. That does work too. And look, unless I'm mistaken, there's something on the other side. Under the bridge. And that'll be enough for today. Because I don't know how they get across there except by using the bridge. Unless there's a lower bridge, but I sure didn't see one. And there's where we came from. And here's the sumac by the riverside and the bulrushes on the other side. So, because this will be the last time until next summer that I'll be able to see anything of Ottawa. So I figured on this visit, I would get some footage. Is that they occasionally get it so that you can get close to the river and get some views. Although you can't see much from this angle except the rocks and the cove on the other side. And of course, I'll try to get footage on the way back as well until I get back to the car. So up, up to the bridge and then back. That'll work. Well, there you go. Redo River Eastern Pathway. Ah, there we go. The intersection near the bridge. As I expected, this, uh, you know, I'm kind of glad that I did all the vlogging 
during the last two years when I lived in this region, I could go to Montreal, I could see the Air Raiders landscape, see the other parks and everything, do all the touring all over Deep River. In fact, I accumulated so much footage in 2023, I didn't get a chance to release it all. <laughs> but I think after I'm done with the, um, the Ottawa and Barrie parks, that I'm going to try to, you know, after I'm done with the vlog footage from this summer, I said I'm going to try to produce more of the the footage and pictures from previous trips. So here we are under the bridge, as you can see. So I'm going to try to get a view that goes towards the bridge pillars across the river. If you can see the concrete there. But what you really want is this view over here. Because you can look straight through to the other side. There. And if you zoom in at 10 times zoom to the other side, you will see framed in the archway, if I can hold the foam steady, the graffiti art. And there is the rest of the river. And there are some Canada geese on that side, I think. Oh, no, that's a waving branch, sorry. But that is quite beautiful. Alright, so now it's time to return back to our point of origin. I might as well take some one-times view pictures. That side. And if I get closer, that side. There we go. All right. Back we go. Now you see the city buildings that lie beyond the trail and the sports fields and everything. So actually the view from the other side was better. There's a straight on view of the intersection and the other side of the bridge. Well, according to that RA physiotherapy sign, it's not a uh, school at all. It's a physiotherapy facility, so that's why they have all the sports fields and everything. Now I get it. Huh. And here's some part of the trail from the other side. The flowers at the bottom of the big tree. You can see the uh, big tree here. Well, who knows how many kilometers this uh, trail stretches. So we, we took a tiny part of it. This is a different view than I saw on Friday morning, the afternoon. But it's still quite nice, and it is a more direct route to the, uh, the Barhaven Plaza. Yes. I deliberately took that route so that I could uh, see some scenery, at least. Yeah. It's, it's interesting though, despite being here, seeing all the sports fields and everything, I still miss the Air Raiders landscape most of all. And I am so glad that I got good video of going all the way through it on both sides. Most of it in July of 22, and the remainder in March of 23. That's neat. The stones embedded on the curb. Here we are. Getting away from the uh, road into the park again. There's a good view of the physiotherapy center with the big building and it's in the background. It's neat, the uh, small growth on the bottom. Tiny little leaves of plants that stay right on the surface. Huh. <sighs> you know, I fell in love with city parks and the fall of 1997 when I first went to college and now that I'm going to be moving to Borden I'm going to be living a lot closer to St. Catharines and I may in fact be able to get some of those parks on video and picture. I mean in 2016 I got a bit of video and pictures of Lester B. Pearson Park that I first discovered in 2004 but it has been eight years and a half since I set foot in that city and I haven't been to Hamilton since 2013, and I 
foolish me, I forgot to use the digital camera as my primary picture source then and lost the pictures when that phone was lost in the field. That was the Galaxy 2. Now the, the upside to losing that phone is that its picture quality was terrible, worse than the digital camera. And now that I'm vlogging, it gives me an opportunity to go back to those places and get proper picture and video on a good quality cell phone like my Galaxy 9. So I guess it turns out all right in the end.